These are the two answers really we have to choose from them. A person who uh, uh, does such a sinful life of disobedient to God's word, obviously, as we read in the book of Exodus, is death. And that's why we can say that there is no way a Bible can teach or promote slavery is okay. This and is just a start. In and, the and the location in the Torah, which Muslims say they believe, is very important because it comes right after Exodus chapter 20, mm -hmm. where we have the Ten Commandments, Wasiya al Ashra. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and so this is the law. Muslims, this is Sharia min Allah lil Musa. Mm -hmm. This is the law. This, this isn't just some you know, word that's taken here or there out of context. It's, this is the law. It's command of God in the Bible. This is the law. That's how you live. Okay. Anybody hold a slave, try to sell a slave against his will, the punishment is death. Okay. okay. Now let me ask you some question as we look yeah. together on the screen. Yeah. Okay, here's a question. 200 years ago, were there any Christian living in America? 200 years ago. Yes, I believe so. Absolutely so. Yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. Let me ask another question. 200 years ago, were there any slave living in America? 200 years ago, that would be what, uh, 18, uh, oh yes. yes there were slaves in America. Mm -hmm. So they were Christian in America, and they were slave in America. Yes. Let me ask you this very important question. Uh, we'll get back to it one more time. Here we go. 200 years ago, did any Christian own slaves in America? Most likely, yes. Uh, so that's where yeah. the, the idea or the belief that Christianity yeah. allowed slavery since we got lots of Christian in America yeah. who own a lots of slaves that yeah. means this true. and by the way we do have picture look at this picture with me here's a cotton field and uh, there's a gentleman here standing on the horse he's a white guy most likely his owner and here is slave working in the field so we cannot say that there was no slave in America and there were Christian in America who owned slave but the question once again does the Bible allow people to have slave. No, because it's very simple. Exodus 21, 16 said, any person does such a crime must be put to death. Now, and, uh, he that steal and, and let's skip this. We'll go to the next one here. Question. Does the Bible condone the slavery that exists in America? No, and, and, and I don't believe so. And let's just remind people, and I think most of our viewers would know, but because we have people who are immigrants and others who really don't know American history that well, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the, the slaves in America were purchased from Africa. There was that slave trade, mm -hmm. and there were people who went over. A lot of times they were sold by their own people, but they were sold in yes. Africa and brought to America against their will. So that is not uh, acceptable. That's not Bible. acceptable to the Bible as we already read in the Bible. Yes. So obviously the answer is no. Yeah. Uh, another very important uh, thing I want to share, just a couple of verses from the Bible to get to the idea of what people does, it does not make it the faith of the Christian faith. So, uh, if we look together here on the screen, I have a couple of verses. First of all, we get a verse from Ephesians 5.18. And the Bible said, Do not drink with wine. Do not be drunk with, not be, be drunk with wine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the question we need to ask is, have any Christian ever gotten drunk in the last 2,000 years? I imagine there's been a couple. A couple, at a least couple, a couple. Yeah, I understand yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Another verse in Exodus 20:15, when the Bible said, said, "Thou shall not steal." That's what the Bible teaches. Yeah. You should not steal. Now we ask the same question: Have any Christian ever stolen anything? Yeah. Well, the, well, the slaves, by the way, was uh, we mentioned. Uh, You're stealing a person against his people. will. Yeah. And all. So so far, we, the Bible, according to the Bible, we can judge or we can call that all there many Christians have been guilty of drunkenness and stealing. Mm -hmm. But does that mean the Bible allowed or encouraged people to live such a lifestyle? Not necessarily. Because the Bible said, "Thou shall not." Right. Uh, so if people do what God <laughs> said. Not to do does not mean that's agree, uh, an agreement with what God said or what God want people to do. Let me just say real quickly mm -hmm. uh, a prime example. The Muslims over here love to use this same reasoning and say, just because some people said they were Muslims and ran these planes into September 11th towers, this doesn't necessarily uh, tell you what Islam teaches. And I say, you know what? You're exactly <laughs> right. Absolutely. It should make us go back to the Quran and read and find out that it is yes. what Islam teaches. Ab yeah. And as you know, Brother Joseph, and most people who are watching us know, if you have read the Quran, you discover if you do not take airplane to a building, you are not a good Muslim. You are not a believer because you are not performing 
what Allah commands you to do as a believer. The Quran said yeah. uh, for Muhammad to provoke the believers to perform jihad right. against the infidel and the hypocrite. And hypocrite here are Muslim who does not want to go out and do what Allah command them to do in Islam. So the Quran teach to do it, but the Bible teach not to do it. Right. Uh, of course, uh, Christian who do such a thing are guilty of sin. Now I'd like to watch a video. It's a quick one yes. from the President of the United States of America, Barack okay. Hussein Obama. Yeah. And let's see, see his opinion about the book of Leviticus and a slavery. What does the Bible teach about mm -hmm. slavery? Listen carefully what the President of uh, United States of America say. Yes. Here it is. Yeah. Whatever we once were, we are no longer a Christian nation, at least not just. We are also a Jewish nation, a Muslim nation, and a Buddhist nation, and a Hindu nation, and a nation of non-believers. And even if we did have only Christians in our midst, if we expelled every non-Christian from the United States of America, whose Christianity would we teach in the schools? Would it be James Dobson's or Al Sharpton's? Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay. Should we go to Leviticus, which suggests that slavery is okay? Uh, I think the problem is not in Barack Hussein Obama. It's a problem in his uh, reverend, Reverend Wrong. Uh, oh, Reverend Wright. Reverend Wright. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, reverend Wright uh, did not know anything about the book of Leviticus, and uh, he taught Obama very well that the Bible teach slavery is okay. By the way, just that, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I hate to say this, but the way Obama just uh, imputed sin onto the Bible, that's the same way Muslim callers do. Don't you know it says in Deuteronomy and Leviticus and this, that other thing, you got to kill everybody and take slaves? <laughs> so that's, you know, where, where was the quotation in context of, of anything? He just said, oh, the book of Leviticus. Okay, well, to, to be fair, yeah. and uh, I would like to uh, put the passage from yeah. the Bible, yes. which come from the book of Leviticus, which teach slavery is okay, and then we're going to talk, we take it and uh, uh, go in depth in it to find real, what the real means. teaching behind this passage. Gotcha. In uh, Leviticus 25, 44, 46, that's what uh, the president are uh, aiming to, and that's what uh, most likely uh, Jeremiah Rong and others will teach yeah. uh, from all uh, those who are prejudiced, who uh, do not uh, uh, like the white man and the religious of the white man, the yeah. Christianity, uh, they will take and will read. Let's listen carefully what the Bible said about slavery in the book of Leviticus. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall you buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that sojourn among you, of them shall you buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begot in your land. And they shall be in your possession, and ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. Well, Brother Joseph, is a Bible here clearly teach it's okay for Moses, God speaking to Moses, Moses yeah. at the book of Leviticus, yeah. uh, that to take slave, to take the children of the slave to be slave, and the grandchildren forever. Mm. That's exactly what the Bible said. Now, I have a question I would like to put on the screen here. Uh, did God command the Jew to take slave? Well, According I, you know, to the reading, yeah. the simple reading of this verse, yes, absolutely. But the answer is absolutely not. Look at the context. Absolutely. Go ahead, God yeah. never said to the to the uh, children of Israel to take slave. But here, God, the knower of the future, who knows everything's going to happen in the future, he is telling them that they will take slave and they will take the children of the slave to be slave forever. The, the, the actual command of God in the Bible is uh, for the, for the uh, children of Israel, Moses and Joshua and David and others, to kill everybody. Hmm. He never said to take slave out of them, yeah. but he literally commands them to kill everybody. Let me, let me go to the Bible, and I, I want to chase uh, the thought of the people who are watching here right now, to in the Bible, in Luke 22, 34. The Bible said what? Mm -hmm. Jesus is speaking to Peter, and he told him, Thou shalt uh, deny me three times. Three times, Peter, you will deny me. 
Right. Uh, and, and notice the, the context here. The, the Jesus sitting with his disciples. And uh, Peter's a big mouse. The big uh, guy. The guy talk all the time. And he have big mouth, you know. 